Everyone in the UK knows someone whose life has been blighted by crime, and yet at the same time the government states that crime figures are falling. Now that might be true in the most technical of senses, because of course technology means that there are fewer car crimes, for example, today than there were 20 years ago. But in terms of sheer callousness, the type of crime that, uh, that is, is caused by people who, um, who take the most callous, vindictive attitudes and deliberately try to cheat the system, that kind of crime is quite clearly increasing. And we know that it would. Because as governments have successively softened their approach to sentencing policy, we've created a situation in which crime genuinely does pay at the moment. Now I believe that both the right wing and the left wing in this country are absolutely right and absolutely wrong at the same time when it comes to crime. Because the right wing talks about deterrence, about having sentences that must be tough enough that people don't want to go back to prison, that people daren't commit the crime again. The left wing talks about rehabilitation, about getting people back into society, providing the support that they need in order to live a, a happy, fulfilled life without crime. Both of these are true, but you can't take one without the other. Rehabilitation doesn't work unless there is the fear of prison, the fear of the consequences of committing crime. Deterrence doesn't work on its own unless you give some, someone something positive to look to afterwards. And so I believe, quite passionately, that we must have tougher sentences. If it means building more prisons, then we build more prisons. But at the same time, we must not lose the compassion and the fact that as a society, we treat a debt to society as something that should be paid. Once that debt to society has been paid, we help those people back onto their feet and ensure that they don't go back into the spiral of committing crimes over and over again. Left wing, right wing, both are right, both are wrong. To find out more about who we are and what we stand for, go to the UK Independence Party website at www.ukip.org.